Hello everyone, I'm Argama, and I'm a salty witch, and today I am going to talk about Final Fantasy VII, the remake. I know, it's, it's, a, it's a little, little outdated, but the, sh 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 shut up. Okay, <laughs> so uh, before I get started, I need you to know that there will be spoilers. It'll be Final Fantasy spoilers, Final Fantasy remake spoilers. I'm going to be talking about things that happen in the series that haven't necessarily happened. I'm going to talk about the original, what happened in the original. I'm going to talk about some things that happened in the remake. So just heads up. I don't want you to get all pissy at me. I'm warning you now, okay? Okay. So so let me talk to you uh, uh, about my love-hate relationship with this. So I, I enjoy it because I like the Final Fantasy VII story character series. But oh my god, does this- oh, it makes me so fucking salty because it's not what I or anyone wanted. Alright, <clears throat> so let's start off with the fact that there are two modes you can play this in. You have, like, standard mode and then classic mode, I think it is. I don't remember. I don't do research before this shit. <laughs> Look, I am just salty and I don't do research when I'm salty. I just rage. Ree! <laughs> but anyways, so so when I got I got the demo and I played it, um, I played it through once on like the standard mode and I was like, okay. And then I went to try classic because classic is supposed to give you more of that turn-based feel. And I really liked that about the original Final Fantasy. In fact, it's one of the things I liked about JRPGs, or at least the old JRPGs. Um, but this didn't do that. So <laughs> what I ended up doing at one point, because I think it's like you have like standard and then easy and then like uh, classic or whatever. So I put it on the classic mode and I just let it do its thing on the first level. Yeah, it almost beat the whole thing without any input from me. I did not give it any instruction whatsoever on what to do and it basically played its fucking self. If it, I, it didn't, it didn't actually, it didn't, wasn't able to beat that boss, but it was so fucking close. If I gave it one or two instructions throughout that whole level, it would have beaten that boss, but I just wanted to see if it would on its own just using the AI. Um, the, the AI is pretty fucking stupid, and yeah, I don't, I don't... Mm -mm -mm. I, even in the, the standard mode, when you're playing it, it kind of more of like an action RPG, uh, I don't like the way that your other characters react. They don't do shit right. They don't, they're not supportive of you as a player, as a character. Um, and I guess maybe I was thinking I wanted something more like Final Fantasy uh, 15, where, you know, you're there and your boys are around you and they are supporting your ass because they got you, yo. They family. <laughs> and, and so, like, I'm dying and I need help and nobody's there, so I have to, like, switch to a new character to go and, like, either get the bad guys off of me or to heal me as the main character. And I, I didn't... I didn't really enjoy that. Like, I didn't find that part, like, fun or, or, or whatever. I thought it was just annoying. It was a nuisance because you couldn't really get them to do certain things. You can kind of get them to be, like, more defense or attack, but not enough to where it felt like, um, I didn't have to worry about those characters in, like, the standard mode and, like, the action RPG sense. Now, if I was doing the classic mode, and I'm gonna classic mode it because it's not f***ing classic mode, it's f***ing, it's a f***ing, oh, it's an abomination to man, and the shit shouldn't f***ing exist, and whoever f***ing plays it on that mode. <laughs> I mean, bring back turn base. If you were going to bring back turn base, just bring it back f***ing turn base, but it wasn't. No. No, it just... You move to a location, and then you fight, and you can put in inputs if you want, but it was baby handheld. The, give the f***ing controller to a child, and it would have been able to beat the Final Fantasy Part 1. I, I f***ing, the controls are f***ing stupid. I'm done with the controls. We're done talking about how salty I am about the f***ing controls. Outside of that, another thing I'm really salty about, before we get into the story, because the story is really gonna, like, be the majority of this episode, and I don't know how long this episode's gonna be, but probably longer than the last one, so, whew. There, it's not really RPG, and there was a person online, and I'm not gonna name names, it was another VTuber, and I got a little salty, then we got into a little, like, heated tiff <laughs> in their particular chat, because they're like, oh, I like RPGs like this better, it's like, this is not a RPG! This isn't a RPG! <laughs> this is an action game! 
game. This is a mother fucking action game right now. You haven't even gotten into the RP elements. Like, what's the fucking point of calling this an RPG if there's no fucking RPG elements? Okay? Okay. I like RPGs. I used to like RPGs, but fucking meh. And, and, like, I can bring it back to Final Fantasy XV because you're stuck with the same few characters and every once in a while you might have another character added on. And it didn't actually anything you could do. But... I wasn't stuck on rails. After like one chapter or two chapters, I could do whatever the fuck I want. And you bet your ass I did all the fucking side quests because that's really all that game was fun for until you got onto the second part and then you were just on rails and then I just wanted to shoot myself in the fucking head and wait for it to be over so I could go back to playing the fun part of the game. But I digress. We're not talking about Final Fantasy XV. We're talking about Final Fantasy VII, the remake. <laughs> My goddamn hat. The RPG, okay? <sighs> okay. Okay. Look, I got a little salt in me, okay? It's just. Gotta shake it up. Gotta shake off the salt. Gotta shake out the salt. Okay, we talked about the minor things that really make me salty. I'm gonna talk about the things that make me really goddamn fucking salty about this game. And that is. The fact that they are retconning the canon! The original. People asked all they wanted was a fucking remake. They didn't ask for something more. And I know they're like, oh, but we want to give a new experience. So that way it's not the same game. We don't want a new experience. We want the same game. It's why we fucking bought it the first time. It's why we bought the fucking PC version. We want the same game. You fucking re-released it in its fucking pixely form. And people fucking bought it because they just want to play it again. Okay, and not everyone has a fucking PlayStation without do fucking ROMs and emulators and shit like that. Stop. We just wanted the same game. Uh, and it can be a little updated. Like, I'm okay with a few changes here and there. But they are purposely retconning things. And I don't remember what they are called. But in the game, there were these, like, dementors. Okay? I don't fucking we're gonna call them the Final Fantasy Dementors. Um, <clears throat> or Spectres? Spirits? I don't know. Whatever it is. I Okay, you wanna know what it is? It's the fucking fandom. It's the original fandom. That's what those things represent. Actually. <laughs> and what it is, is every time that the game decides to go off on its own direction, the fandom's trying to redirect it to be where it's supposed to be. And that is, like, the allegory that they were going for. And so when they finally leave at the end of uh, part one, it's them breaking away and the fans ain't gonna stop them from doing whatever the fuck they want. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Look, you can change certain things. It doesn't have to be perfect. You want to change who lived, who died? Fine. Whatever. I don't understand the point of it. Like... Instead of, like, having Jesse survive, you know, Jesse dies. Why? Because they tried to give an emotional attachment and Jesse was best girl. And I don't know why they did this to her. How are you going to do her dirty like that? And then the other ones, you know, Biggs and, or Briggs or whatever, and they, they're still alive. Fine. Fine. And, and what bothers me about this is... I feel they're doing it so they can basically say, hey, this is a new game, but I swear to fucking Christ, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this now, it feels like they're going to not kill off Aerith. Like, she's supposed to die, that is plot important. Like, you need that to kind of advance the plot, there is purpose to, like, everything. And I have a feeling that they're gonna keep that bitch alive. And they're going to, like, blame the Spectre shit, like, you know, you, the fanboy, we left that shit, so we're doing our own thing. Maybe they'll make someone else die, maybe they'll make Tifa, maybe they'll bring back somebody, make someone new, I don't fucking know. I just have an inkling. This, this, this gnawing on the back of my fucking head that this is what they're going to do. And I am not, oh, I'm gonna be so pissed off if they do this. I really hated the fact that they added those in there to kind of, like... You know, whatever. Um, I also feel they added too much Sephiroth in the first one. I know, everyone likes Sephiroth. Sephiroth! And I do too. 
But I feel like Cloud going fucking insane this early on didn't really make sense. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be explained why, but I mean, he wasn't this bad. And from why he is the way he is based on Crisis Core, I don't really see why he would be hallucinating this badly. And then that he actually fucking shows up and... Did he actually have his one wing at that point? I think he did, and I was so fucking angry. <laughs> I was so salty! <laughs> Can you not? Look, salt. So fucking salty on this. It just, it, oh. Look, fine. You you want to battle? You, you want to have a Sephiroth battle? Fine, I would prefer we waited, but fine. Okay, whatever. But I don't... You didn't need to do the one-winged angel yet, you know, that was like, that didn't really happen until the end. And then like, you're finally do fighting the ghost things or get out. I think, oh, that's stupid. I, I really hate that. I really, oh. <laughs> Another thing they did, which they didn't need to do, there's no point in them doing this, and I really hate the fact that they did this, is in the beginning of Final Fantasy VII, uh, Team Avalanche, which has Cloud in it as a mercenary, um, are going to one of the uh, Shinra Towers to blow it up. And in the original, they succeed. They become eco-terrorists. They've basically killed people, and that's a weight that you have to, to live with. I don't know if it really matters to you or not as the player, but that held weight to it, you know? This one, not so much, because the bomb is defective. And then Shinra blows her own fucking shit up to blame it on Avalanche because that's what they needed. Why? <clears throat> Game, why? Why not just let Avalanche succeed? Why not just let us live with the weight of killing these people that we chose to be these eco terraces gun for hire? Like, well, I guess we didn't really choose. It starts off there. It's our tutorial stage, but... But it kind of puts you in this moral gray area about what is right and what is wrong because you've killed people, you've ruined their lives um, for the sake of the planet, which is a bit of an extreme, or at least I feel it's a bit of an extreme, but you have to like deal with that. Like that, you see that all throughout the first chapter. But as soon as you see, like, because the characters might not know this, but you know this, that Shinra blew that up. It's like, oh, well, we're not the bad guys anymore. Shinra's the bad guys because they blew it up. Dee -dee 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 -dee. They need the, the, the life force shit to make their shit, whatever. And... <sighs> look, 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 look. I'm so salty. <laughs> But it, I hated that. Like, what was the point of removing the weight of that, like, that sin from you? Because this is a big deal that you had, you know, you went with. Um, and I, in the grand scheme of things, it's not really. But if you're going to do the first part and it's about that, and then you see the aftermath, you see people, like, calling out for other people and, you know, where's this and that. And then Shinra's going around being like, these are the bad people. Let us be the bad people. It's fine. Like, I don't understand why they did that. Like, it didn't make any difference. The public would still blame Avalanche. Avalanche still believed they did it. What's, what? The only thing it did was make the player feel better. Because we big babies, we can't handle doing naughty things. <laughs> That's why they have to have the, the other things in there to retcon it because they can't have sad things because Poyobish might be big babies and they won't be able to handle it or something. <laughs> Look, don't quote me on that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, I have a few other little nitpicks on this. Um, one of the nitpicks I have is uh, some of the really shitty low poly shit in the game. Like, it was almost reminiscent of the original. It was like, the bad JPEG skybox and... God, I remember going into Eris's mother's house and she had like, things on the counter and they are the lowest fucking pull. I could make them. I could make it in Blender and you guys know how much I hate Blender! I could make it better in Blender! But it just, it looks so bad. Like, it was supposed to be like, something round, but it was just like a 
blo box almost, and ah, uh, it just was terrible. I'm like, what? What? Ah! I, I look. We waited a long time for this, and you can see where at the end they were like, eh, just throw whatever. No one cares. Yeah, I care. I care because you're charging like a fucking like sixty, seventy, eighty dollars for this fucking game. If you know, don't want to include the fucking like extra shows, like three hundred dollars. But um, and then you're going to give us like this. It looks somewhere between PlayStation Four and PlayStation One graphics at times. Like it just, I I hate it. It drove me fucking insane. I don't. Mm. I don't, I don't know. Also, 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 one of the other things, remember when I was talking about not being an RPG? You remember when in the original one you could um, get dress Cloud up in order to be chosen by the Dawn? Uh, and there was a chance you wouldn't be chosen? Yeah, that doesn't happen. You will always be fucking chosen. And I hate that. I literally fucking hate that. I hate the fact that that, the um, choice or consequences of something it has been removed from us. Like, if we don't get the right outfit, we won't be chosen, and then we have to go rescue somebody else. But no, 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 we'll always be chosen. But, I mean, who'll be fair, you know, it's Cloud, and who wouldn't want to fuck Cloud? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, god damn. I just, mm. It's little things like that. And, 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 and. They added in new bad guys. Why? Why did we have a new bad guy? Why did we have a bike bad guy? Why? Who the fuck is this goddamn Kingdom Hearts reject that was in here? I'm like, I saw him and I'm like, I hope you're not gonna be fucking important. Are you gonna be like a, a Genesis to Sephiroth? Are you just gonna be like this, another like Turk, like a side Turk or something? Because I, I have my Reno and that's all I need from the Turks. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I have a, I have a Reno figure, okay? Shut up. Leave me alone. <laughs> I like Cloud, but mm, that boy. <laughs> anyways, anyways, like what's the point of adding it in? It's just to pad out the shit. It's just it's just to give some fluff. It was sort of like the rhythm game at the like honeybee, which I actually kind of enjoyed. Like I like that little side thing. Um I wish there was a bit more in the side quests. Um for at, at least I wish there was a bit more options, you know? Like, there were some side quest options, I guess. But, I don't know, it just felt very limiting and you, like, you had to do certain things. And then if you missed it, you weren't able to ever go back, so... Uh, uh. <sighs> um, the, I guess the last thing I really want to touch on is the fact that instead of working on the second one, or part two, or whatever, they're working on DLC, which I guess is okay, but, like... I don't fucking want Yuffie DLC. We don't need Yuffie DLC right now, okay? I feel that is stupid. And I know why they did it. They did it so they could fucking sell the PlayStation 5. Okay, look, I get it. You have shit for fucking games on that system. It's why I won't buy it. Look, I was a little tempted uh, for uh, getting 7 on there. But instead, I got it for the 4? Yeah, I got it for 4. And I played it. And I played it on stream, and it was fine. Was I gonna get it for fucking Yuffie? No, because I don't really fucking care about Yuffie. I mean, there's talks of, like, the the Wutai and the terrorists and shit like that a little bit in part one. But I feel like introducing her now was just a bit too soon. I didn't play the DLC. I don't have a PlayStation 5. I don't give a fuck about the DLC. The only DLC I'm gonna care about is Vincent. Because goddamn, I need my vampire boy. But <laughs> look, look, look. Let me get, let me get real with you, okay? Square, Square Enix, Squaresoft, whoever the fuck you is, you give me my vampire boy, and I will consider getting your PlayStation Five. But honestly, until then, nope. Yeah. So this is a bit of a, a bit of a long rant. I. Oh. Oh, oh, this is, I really like, I like the new graphics and stuff, and I really do, and I like playing through it, and I think about it every once in a while, like, yeah, I kind of want to play through that again, because I did have fun in most parts. Some of it was kind of stupid, some of it, yeah, was, like, really f***ing tedious. F*** the time!
my berries! <laughs> but overall, like, like it's fine is what it is, but it, uh, for freaking Final Fantasy VII, like, I was just expecting more, and I wanted more, and I don't like the fact that they're trying to retcon the, retcon the canon. They want to get rid of the freaking canon, and I just, why? You have, you have so many games, and like, anime? They might have anime to this, too. Oh. Advent, whatever the fuck Advent Children is. It's not an anime, I don't know what it is. Why are you trying to ruin that canon? What is it going to do for you? Nothing. All you're going to do is piss off the people who really fucking want this game, and everyone else will not give a fuck. So you wanna know what? You wanna know what? I can guarantee you the majority of your fucking sales were from the original fans who are looking for the remake, an actual remake, and not this fucking polished polished poo. Look, I, I sometimes like playing polished poo. You don't have to think about it too much. It looks pretty. And, you know, I got that way sometimes with this one. Oh. Oh, also. F the, the goddamn summoning shit. That is the biggest goddamn bullshit ever. F*** it. Listen here. I hated the summoning of 15 with a passion. This one, I might hate even more. So f*** you, Square. Why you gotta ruin the thing? It wasn't broken! Why are you trying to fix something that wasn't broken? This was listed as some of uh, people's, like, top game of all f***ing time. You have Ocarina of Time, and then Final Fantasy VII, and if you remake those shit, people don't want something new, they just want, like, a polished version of it, like a nice version of it, so they could hold and cuddle and get that warm nostalgia feeling again. So it'll revitalize them and want more from the fucking franchise, and then they'll buy your little toys and your little action figures and shit. But no! You're like, we have to do something different because they know the story of that one. Why would they want to play? Shut the fuck up, that's what they want. They want that story. Why are you trying to fix it? It's not broke! Don't break it! You're breaking it! It's not broken! You're breaking it! Why? <sighs> Anyways, I'm Argama Witch, and I am salty. Well, I'm a little less salty now. <laughs> um, but I want to thank you for joining me on today's episode of Salty Witch. I want to give a special shout out to uh, my Patreons. Also, if you want to watch me play video games, sometimes I'm salty on them, sometimes not. You can check it out over at twitch.tv. Witch. And, um, yeah. Thank you so much. Like, comment, share. And remember, don't be a salty witch. That's my job. <laughs> but... <laughs>